Did you know one of the world's richest zinc and lead deposits happens to be located where caribou outnumber people by about 40 to 1 and where there's not a single road leading to the outside world? So exactly how do you get millions of tons of zinc and lead ore from this isolated wilderness 150 miles north of the Arctic Circle to the businesses that can turn it into all kinds of important stuff we depend on every day? And even more important, how do you do all that while working in concert with the beautiful and diverse lands that surround this mine in the mountains? The story starts with this simple 52-mile road that connects Red Dog Mine's rich mineral deposits with the Chukchi Sea and the rest of the world. This road makes it possible to maintain a modern, efficient, and responsible mining operation in one of the most isolated places on Earth. The process begins with engineers and technicians who carefully use sophisticated and highly targeted explosives to turn lots of solid rock into about 11,000 tons of loose ore every day. This uniquely rich ore is scooped up, moved, crushed, and stored in temporary stockpiles. Then it goes through a series of mills, which gradually turn the basketball-sized crushed rocks into fine particles that are about the consistency of talcum powder. Next, this powder is poured into big tanks called flotation cells and mixed with air, water, and chemical compounds. This causes the lead and zinc minerals in the finely ground ore to cling to the air bubbles in the tank, take a ride to the surface, and flow into this collection chamber. The whole mixture then goes through a filter press to squeeze out most of the water and leave the final pure zinc and lead mineral concentrates behind. But that's really just the beginning, because this valuable mineral concentrate isn't worth much sitting in Alaska far above the Arctic Circle. So it gets loaded onto trucks and transported over the 52-mile road to a port facility in the kind of extreme conditions that you'd expect to find in an action-adventure movie. Since the Chukchi Sea is frozen over most of the year, the concentrate is unloaded and stored in two massive buildings. As soon as the ice melts, an impressive 100-day effort begins to load the 1.2 million tons of stored concentrate onto shallow water lightering barges, transfer it to bigger cargo ships waiting in deeper water, and send it to final destinations all over the world. It's a remarkable story. But maybe the most amazing part is the close, cooperative relationship between the operators of Red Dog Mine and the local Inupiat, who own the land on which the mine is situated. Since 1982, this responsible resource development partnership has opened the door to remarkable economic opportunities, actively worked to protect the region's natural resources for generations to come and helped maintain the subsistence hunting, fishing, and gathering activities that thousands of Inupiat still depend on. When you put all these pieces together, it's clear that Red Dog Mine is much more than a successful and responsible mining operation. It's a powerful economic engine of hope, security, and opportunity for an entire region and state.